Alright guys, check this out. Uh, as some of you probably know, I guess not everybody, I got this lathe a little while back and what came with it was this very nice set of collets. Unfortunately, it came also with this drawbar which fits back here, which has a thread on the inside. However, the collets here are not threaded on the outside, they're threaded on the inside. So the drawbar doesn't work with these collets. The way these guys work is there's a face right here, and when you unscrew the chuck, you can pop that into the headstock, and then you screw a kind of big nut to hold the collets into the headstock. Now, the lathe didn't come with that, and I went to the local scrap place, I found something which looks quite similar. I think actually this is the same piece from a different lathe. So it's got a th big thread on the inside there, and it looks kind of like that. So the collet would fit right up in there like that. The diameter here is not perfect because again, it's not from this lathe, but I measured this. The ID here is enough so that we can cut the thread that we need to cut on the inside here to fit our headstock, which is a M45 by three. And this is cut like an M42 by something, I don't know. And so I'm gonna take this part, we're gonna modify it, we're gonna cut, so machine this old thread down, cut the new thread in, bore it all out how it should be. I think weld a piece on the front here, bore it out to the right diameter so it fits the collet. Probably we'll have to shorten it and then we'll be able to use the collets. Problem with all of that is this lathe has a gearbox here and here. There's the two change gears. There's also manual change gears here. And I didn't get the full set of gears with this machine. This guy right here, in order to cut a three millimeter pitch thread, needs to be a 30 tooth gear. Right now it's a 35 tooth gear. I don't have the 30 gear. So I'm going to show you guys how you can buy a gear that's going to fit that we're going to have to modify a little bit. Here's our gear. As you can see, it's a little bit different. So the diameter is wrong on the ID. So we'll have to bore that out. This is also not a torque transfer gear, but rather a idler gear as evidenced by the lack of a keyway. So we're going to have to bore this out, put a keyway in, and this part in the end, I ordered specially this style of gear so I have something to hold on to in the check. But actually this isn't even in our way because we can just mount it right there with this part facing out because the only place in the gearbox that this gear will go is right there. So actually this isn't in our way. So we'll bore this out, cut a keyway into it, make all this work, and then we'll get started on cutting our parts for this. Let's go. So the first thing uh, about these gears, these are spur gears and they are metric spur gears. And basically what you need to know is metric spur gears are measured or specced with a uh, module. And this module is basically the pitch diameter divided by the number of teeth on the gear. And so I can show you really fast how to calculate that. For example, we'll take this guy right here. This is a 42 tooth gear. And then what we need to do is calculate the pitch diameter, which is basically the middle of the tooth. So the first thing we'll do is take the outside dimension, so the biggest outside dimension that we can get. looks to be about right there let's say so 65.94 okay then we put that 65.94 is our od okay which one did we have the 42 this guy then we need the id or not the id but rather the the bottom of the tooth so that's going to be the dimension if we measure Come on. From here to here across the biggest diameter. Now, since these things are not exactly 
going to be straight across the gear because the number of teeth might not divide it in such a way that you can get a line all the way across the gear. I'm going to take a couple of measurements, see which one is the biggest. So it's not that one. That one's a bit bigger. That one's smaller again. So it should be this one right here is our biggest one. So let's say 59.3 or even 3.2 if you want. 59.32 is the bottom of tooth. Okay, so then we'll go ahead and subtract those. Five or the next six. 6.62. Okay, then we take that divided by 2, so 3.31. Take that 3.31, add it to the bottom of the tooth measurement, and then we'll be right in the middle of the tooth. So if you imagine, here's our gear, here's our teeth, and the pitch diameter is right about here. That's what we're calculating. Okay, so if we take 59.32, add 3.31. Now, I'm not sure if this pitch diameter is really exactly in the middle of the tooth, but for picking the gear, it's more than good enough to do it this way. So, 36216, 62.63 is going to be our pitch diameter of this gear, which has 42 teeth. So, if we go back to the definition of the module, the module is the number or the pitch diameter divided by the number of teeth. So we have to take 42 and divide that right there. I'm not going to do that on paper. I'll do it on my phone, but I'm recording a sound on my phone. So hold on. Okay, look. So we take 62.63 divided by 42. And this is the number we get, 1.49. 1.49. And if we look really fast at the Wikipedia about um, standard pitches in the module system, you can see that these are the standard pitches which are used for metric gears right here. And the closest one that we get is this 1.5 right here. So we know that for this lathe, we need to order a gear with a module of 1.5. So if I go on my little gear website, which I've closed, um, if you go and order a gear, basically you can choose. So here's the gear I got, by the way. And we can see it's even etched into it what it is. So it's a module 1.5 gear. And the Z is a uh, Zahn in German, it's tooth, so 30 teeth. I don't know what the B3 is, but basically this is the gear I'm missing in order to cut my M45 by three thread. So the three millimeter thread pitch is what I'm interested in. All right, I haven't got a keyway brooch, so we're gonna do this, um, yeah, with a file, I guess. I'll give it a shot with a file if it works. And if not, well, then I don't know. But um, I've got both of the gears on a 13 drill here, so they're lined up, on, so they're concentric. And what I want to do is try to spray down into the original keyway from this gear and transfer it onto there so I know where to cut. I don't know if this is going to work, but... It worked.
All right, so check this out. We need to cut this thread right here. That's a millimeter um, metric threads with a pitch in millimeters. So we have a three millimeter pitch. That means we need to have a 30 gear followed by a 95, followed by nothing, followed by a 60. That's what we got here. There's our 30. There's our 95, there's our nothing, there's our 60. The last two here are defined by this up here. So the E is 48 and the F is 24. That's what we've got on the last two gears. And then for the three millimeter pitch, we need the gearbox on one A. And we have one A. So it should work. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and check something up and make a little test cut, see if we're really cutting at three millimeters pitch, and then we can go ahead and machine our part. All right, so there's the thread we made. If we zoom out a little bit, I can show you at the top of the tooth, we've got maybe half a mil of a flat spot. And here's the same thread on the piece of the lathe that's for cutting with, uh, with lathe dogs. And so if you kind of compare the two threads, they look pretty good. Moment of truth, you find out with me. Oopsie. It's an M45 by 3.5, not by 3. And I have to make this whole thing out of something new, which sucks. Because I don't think I'll be able to find another one of these at the scrapyard. Oh well. Live and you learn. So I had a little bit of a break in the filming. Here's our part. What I ended up doing was, remember I didn't cut the original thread to the very bottom of it. So what I did here in the front, there was the original um, diameter that didn't fit or call it correctly. So what I did was I bored that all out. So I just had this kind of sleeve left. And then I cut our new thread in there. So this is the M45 by 3.5 thread. This is actually a separate piece, which I, when I bored out the sleeve, I bored this piece to be an interference fit into it, pressed it together, and that's our final part. I bored it out here to the final diameter for the collet, like that. And basically, it works like this. Collet goes in the headstock, and then there you go. And it seems to hold fine. I don't think you need to um, tighten it with any kind of tool. So there we go. The story of how to order a gear you don't need, make it work with your machine to cut the wrong thread, which you didn't need for anything, and then 
do it all over again. Um, hope some part of this was useful. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.